What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the new digital edition PS5 Slim. I'm also going to install the additional vertical stand, which Sony unfortunately doesn't include in the Slim models. At least with this new refresh model, we're getting more storage with the new 1TB SSD. This digital edition has no disk drive, but you could always add one in the future for an additional $80. The box of the digital version features a nice black theme, and on the back we have some of Sony's exclusive gaming artwork. This doesn't come bundled with any game sadly, so it's just a console, which Sony upped the price to $450 for the digital edition. Opening up the box is very simple, and I love how these new slim models have smaller and lighter boxes. First thing we're going to get is your standard white DualSense controller, which hasn't changed much from the original PS5. It's still an amazing controller. Next up is your standard power plug, and then we get a pair of clear plastic feet so you can place the PS5 Slim horizontally. But like I said earlier, we're going with the vertical stand and the sold separately. Further inside, we're going to get an HDMI 2.1 cable, and finally, a new USB-C to USB-C cable, which is great. All right, we're getting closer to the digital Slim, and I want to thank each and every one of you who sticks through this unboxing. And if you haven't gotten the chance yet, hit that subscribe button. Switching up to the top view, I'm just going to let the ASMR do the talking. And there it is, same original power, but with a smaller body and a new refresh design. The digital edition feels nice and light. Now let's peel out this blue tape that holds the new face place intact. The top portion of the PS5 Slim is this new glossy white finish that crosses diagonally creating a nice black separation from the familiar matte white on the bottom. And damn, the digital edition looks so sexy without a disk drive. Everything is symmetrical and truly has a slim figure. The middle of the PS5 is also going to be a nice gloss black with a power button on the bottom and two USB-C ports in the front with one of them outputting 10 gigabits per second labeled SS10. On the back is very similar to the original PS5 with your power port, two USB-A ports, an Ethernet port, and an HDMI 2.1 port for some beautiful 4K gaming. To install the $30 vertical stand, flip the PS5 upside down and remove the middle cap cover which will reveal the new screw thread. What's cool about this new vertical stand is that you can store the cap cover inside the vertical stand with a triangle and circle label. Now I know paying extra for the stand sucks, but I gotta admit this vertical stand looks and feels premium. Next, we're going to align the vertical stand with the shape of the PS5 and position it right on the middle. The vertical stand includes a screw to screw it in place and they make it toolless by featuring thumb textures. You could use a flathead, but just using your finger is more than enough to create a nice, snug, and tight feel. I'm mad that they didn't include even a cheap plastic stand like they did with the original PS5, but this vertical stand looks amazing. For me, it's worth paying extra for a premium stand and looks way better than having it horizontal in my opinion. But the digital edition is so much thinner and could possibly tip over easier. Taking a look side by side against the disc edition PS5 Slim, and there's no denying that the digital just looks so much better without that awkward disc bulge. Let me know in the comments which you prefer out of the two. Powering on the PS5 Slim will illuminate beautiful RGB light strips that start from the bottom and reach about halfway up. The original PS5 had the lights on top, so I like how Sony changed it up with this new model. Although we get 1TB SSD, a portion of it is reserved for the system, so we actually end up with about 822GB for all your games and apps. You could always add an internal NVMe SSD for even more storage. I'm really liking the new design of the PS5 Slim. And if you're going to stick to digital downloads like I do, I truly believe the digital edition is the better option. I'm not happy that they increase the starting price to $450 and not including a vertical stand, but when you add both together, you're still under the price of the standard PS5, so it's not too bad. If you're interested in the Slim, I do have affiliate links down below that will help and support the Firewolf Tech channel. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I would love your support with a like, share, and subscribe. Firewolf out.